Throughout the Clone Wars, senators were sent on many diplomatic missions by their home planets in order to negotiate better trade deals, protection from the opposing side, and peace talks. On one of these missions, Senator Padme Amidala was sent to a large meeting of some of the galaxy's toughest diplomats with the Jedi escort by none other than Anakin Skywalker. So what could go wrong? Well, one rogue Separatist gonk droid had a different idea. So before we break it down, make sure you're subscribed for more awesome Star Wars lore content. The story begins on the heavily contested moon, Gus Talon, where peace negotiations are in progress between many diplomats, all trying to claim parts of the moon. Padme is attending the peace negotiations with R2-D2 and C-3PO, and has been assigned to Jedi Escort, who happens to be Anakin. <laughs> I wonder how that happened. As the two enter the main complex where the negotiations are going down, Anakin is stunned by how massive the place is, and how it was built solely to host diplomatic negotiations. Padme is equally impressed with the complex, and notes that they really must take diplomacy seriously on Gus Talon. Anakin then adds, it must take a lot of staff to run it, to which 3PO chimes in and tells him that he's wrong, and instead the whole facility is automated and self-sufficient, run entirely by droids. Anakin simply ignores his nosy protocol droid, and continues on with Padme, and the two share a moment together, and remembering that with the ghastly clone wars raging on, they don't really get much time to spend together anymore. Anakin reminds her that she's a diplomat, and that every diplomat needs a Jedi Knight to protect them, to which Padme responds that they can't forget to take some time for themselves, away from the politics and conflict of the war, otherwise they will have lost sight of what they were truly fighting for. As they are sharing this touching moment, they are again interrupted by R2 and 3PO, and this time with the droids informing them that the peace negotiations are finally ready to get underway. After hurrying down to the main negotiations room, Padme and Anakin move ahead to greet the other diplomats, and behind them, 3PO is bumped into by a gonk droid, simply gonking his way through the room. 3PO is infuriated by the rudeness of the gonk droid, and begins to call him a jumped up circuit breaker, which I'm sure is a deeply rude name in droid culture, but the power droid simply continues gonking, leaving 3PO to be scolded by Padme, as she needs his translation skills immediately. Following this, Padme moves to the table and is greeted by the diplomats, each representing certain interests on the moon. The first is Prefect, Orph Madru, Twi'lek Diplomat, Next is Slotho, Rhodian Negotiator and Bail Bondsman, followed by Captain Jam B. Tillies, Corellian Negotiator, Senior Foreman, Emph Didar, an Ugnaught Negotiator and Union Rep, Feeble Dow, a Thelan Negotiator, and finally, Chief Liaison, Herthek Val Voz, a Cold-Blooded Trandoshan. The Ugnaught is having a little trouble seeing over the table because of his height, and the Cold-Blooded Trandoshan is feeling quite frosty, but Padme moves to begin the negotiations immediately. As she begins, Padme notes that everyone at this table has noticed a sharp increase in Separatist activity in the region, which is deeply worrying for all of them. While Padme is speaking however, the gonk droid from earlier has snuck off into the back computer room, and is attempting to gain access into the mainframe of the building. After a few moments of slicing, the gonk droid gets in, and nobody at the meeting has any clue about it. Padme continues her point, telling the other diplomats that as a representative of the Republic, she proposes that a peace battalion be posted around Gus Talon for the duration of the war, but she is very quickly met with backlash from the others, who believe that the Republic can just feel its grip on the galaxy slipping, and are simply attempting to play on their fears by stationing troops on this moon. Before Padme can even respond however, the rogue gonk droid in the computer room manages to alter the mainframe and initiate the shutdown sequence for the building's power. Padme was literally in the middle of telling the diplomats that the Republic would never let any system plunge into darkness when the lights go out, making some of them believe they are being insulted. At this point, Anakin is deeply concerned and realizes that it isn't only the lights that are out, but the whole complex is now powering down. Anakin suggests that they move the meeting outside because of this, but as they try to leave, Padme finds that all of the exit doors have been locked and all of the passcodes have been reset. Definitely not a good sign. Anakin believes that there must be a glitch somewhere in the building's mainframe, but remains confident that he can keep all of the diplomats safe and secure while things get back on track. While he is saying this, the rogue gonk is once again tapping into the mainframe of the building, this time giving new commands and instructing it to do the direct bidding of the Separatists. The ruthless Separatist gonk droid continues gonking as he unleashes a mass of droids on the diplomats with the sole command to kill all occupants. While this is going on, Anakin and the diplomats have no idea that the droids have been unleashed, because of course they are still wrapped in the veil of darkness, but before long Anakin reaches out with the force, and discovers the droid, causing him to ignite his lightsaber in an instant. Anakin then spots the mysterious droid, and 3PO follows him, being incredibly relieved that it is only a cleaning droid. 3PO jokes, at least we can be rest assured that the room will remain pristine during this power cut, but Anakin realises that this is no laughing matter, and tells 3PO to think again, because this droid is only interested in cleaning the floor with the diplomats. While Anakin is dealing with the droid problem, Padme notices that a surface door has been left open, before quickly whisking all of the diplomats away from the danger. 
Anakin warns Padme to run, telling her that he'll join with the rest of the group as soon as he can deal with the droids. Following this, the entire group rush down the hallway away from the droids, and Padme urges them to keep moving because they need to put as much distance as possible between themselves and the droid. 3PO is terrified as always, but R2 on the other hand has a deep suspicion. R2 then rushes away from the main group, telling 3PO to follow him quickly. 3PO protests this, but he follows his astromech friend down the hall anyway, knowing he'll probably regret it. Meanwhile, back in the main area, Anakin manages to completely destroy the dangerous droid, and is shocked that a cleaner could make such a mess. Following this, he now sets his sights back on finding Padme and the others, but he is interrupted when a large group of astromechs approach him, confusing him badly. Elsewhere, Padme reassures the other diplomats, still in the dark, that they'll be quite safe as long as they stay quiet, but just as she finishes her sentence, Padme is lifted off the ground by a massive droid, this time a garbage one. The other diplomats are shocked to see this, and are very worried, realising that this is not just a regular garbage droid, but an industrial strength one that they used to clean the compactor. Cutting back to 3PO and R2, the gold protocol droid is continuing to complain, but R2 tells him to be quiet, which of course ends in another argument. Going back to Anakin, he realises that he has to find a different route through the building because all of those rogue astromechs are going to pilot him to an early grave. To do this, he uses his lightsaber to cut through a nearby wall, but when he manages to get through, he is greeted by an even worse sight. An entire horde of B1 battle droids and droidikas are lined up, ready to strike the young Jedi. Anakin says he has a bad feeling about this, before lifting his lightsaber, ready for a fierce showdown. On the other side of the building, the diplomats are in deep trouble, now being captured by robotic arms protruding out of the wall, and while this is happening, the Trandoshan diplomat is still feeling rather cold. Anakin then swings his blue blade cleanly through a pair of B1 battle droids without hesitation, and as he does so, he is surprised to feel absolutely no resistance from the droids. Upon further inspection, Anakin is shocked to learn that these are actually holograms, and not a threat whatsoever. Over his shoulder, however, are the rogue astromechs from earlier, and these ones certainly aren't holograms. They try to attack Anakin, leaving him very confused, not being able to tell what's real and what's not. Either way, Anakin knows he'll be worn down very shortly if things don't start going his way, leaving everyone in the building in a pretty bad state. Cutting back to 3PO and R2, they eventually manage to locate the Separatist gonk droid, catching him red-handed, connected to the central computer system. After being caught, the gonk rushes away from the terminal and attempts to escape the room, but not before clanking straight into 3PO, prompting him to go on an angry tirade against the Separatist power droid. R2 on the other hand is more composed, and immediately shocks the gonk, leaving him disabled and finally defeated. The two droids now know that he managed to access the mainframe, and is probably behind everything that's gone wrong in the building. This leads R2 to quickly reboot the system as quickly as his circuits allow him, powering down the garbage droid, forcing the holograms to fade out of existence, and the rogue astromechs to switch off. Finally, the day is saved, and the Separatist gonk droid has been stopped. Shortly after, Anakin and Padme embrace once more, after that pretty eventful day, and Padme tells Anakin that just because she's not a Jedi, doesn't mean she can't handle a few droids. As this is happening, 3PO informs the two that he and R2 went on quite the adventure. He tells them that this whole event was part of a major plot to derail the negotiations, and that a Separatist gonk droid took control of the building's mainframe. 3PO is very proud of his effort in stopping the Separatist gonk, and the Trandoshan is still freezing cold. Someone definitely needs to turn up the heat for him at this point. Either way, the other diplomats are eager to get back to their negotiations after such a drama-filled day. And to end the story, Anakin and Padme are very happy that they managed to get a few moments together after all, and Anakin tells her that he wishes the war would stop for them, at least for a few moments, before adding, which is why we must win it. Thanks so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.